Do you think you'll be in a position to start offering guidance to the market at some point in the future? So, because there's two ways to look at this. One is, well, 2021 was obviously still a big year for testing and all that. It might've been just a really good year and we're not sure how much of that carries over into fiscal 2022 or do, because you're more of a holistic approach, you're not just testing, right? You're the occupational health and safety partner. Do you think you'll get to the point when you can start providing some guidance to the market as to what your revenue might be for the year? Certainly. And uh, looking forward to making announcements around that. All right. So <laughs> I wasn't looking for guidance right here, but, but more importantly, I guess what I, I guess what I was looking for, and, and I think you answered it, but maybe we might flesh it out is it's your, your, your revenues, your sales are becoming a lot more predictable. It's not just a case of, okay, George Com needs 10,000 tests over here, but we don't know if we'll ever get that order again. Mm -hmm. uh, does it, is, is, is that a good sign that the, that the Bloom Health business is now becoming more predictable as opposed to just one-off really big deals that you don't know if they're going to come back? Great question. Look, look, look to the announcements and look to the, the numbers. You know, good, solid fiscal 2021, profitable. A couple of announcements since in, in you know, much larger organizations in state school districts with stuff that we didn't have back in Q4 of 2021 or Q3. So that, that's all net new business, uh, along with an environment where, you know, on the, on the testing side, you know, there hasn't been a slowdown. You know, I think it's very, very public. There's a lot of testing happening. And, and in many cases, uh, needs for multiple tests per week, depending on the industry, plus a real need for healthcare in general. You know, what all of this has done is underscored the need for permanent healthcare solutions for companies. So all of that, if you look at the track, you look at, you know, last year's numbers, the business we acquired, you look at Q4, you look at, you look, you look forward. There's a lot to talk about in the next little while in terms of numbers and where we're going to go with this. But if nothing, our Q4 and our, and our fiscal 2021 numbers should indicate, you know, we are a profitable business. We're generating good wow. cash. We're good top line. And that was only our first full fiscal year of reports. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.